few hours here of day number one, the first time in the history of the event, athletes are able to run more than the 12 kilometers from the bay to the bay. My friend Justin. So, um, so I'm getting ready to run 15k. My friend Justin is doing fit the 12k, the normal distance. So we're about to get, re get ready to go here. I went to the expo on Friday. It, it was a good experience, and uh, we're re ready to go here. So um, you'll see, you'll see the GoPro here. I'm recording this entire adventure. So, so we're about to get ready to go. So let's do this. We are less than a minute out. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Wave number one is underway. This is our seated. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. What a great dip and great part to end the day by going by the ocean. I just went on the beach and um, it, it's very nice over there. Well, reviewing the Party Race of America, this is going to be an interesting review. Hey guys, Chance the Runner here. This time, welcome to the very first race vlog slash race review video. I was supposed to make two separate videos of having um, the race vlog for what happened on race day and having a separate video for the race review. But this issue in this case, I was able to have a, a problem with the GoPro, which I thought I was supposed to record the video as I was running, but I mistakenly set it in time-lapse mode. So, I, and the, and I showed you guys the footage of what I saw from earlier and consider that the race vlog part of this video. And I'm going to tell you guys my race review of the 2018 Alaska Airlines Beta Breakers of the 107th running of this race. So, so before I get to my race review, I want to announce the winners of this year's race for the 12K and the inaugural 15k breakers bonus so the 12k winners we have Philemon Philemon Shiboi who ran a 35-37 for the 12k congrats to him for winning on the men's side on the women's side we have Jane Kiwi who ran a 40-33 in the 12k so congrats to um to the 12k winners and I'm going to discuss into the 15K Breakers bonus winners for the its inaugural year. On the men's side, it was Jason Yen who ran a 55-27 um, to, to win on the men's side. On the women's side, it was Jen Vukanich who ran 1 hour, 6 minutes, and 35 seconds for the its inaugural year of the Breakers bonus. So congrats to those 15K winners and the last... Um, winners I want to mention before I get to my race review is the Centipede um, winner. It's the 40th running of having the Centipede relay in 
um, in this race where the, the group of people have to run together throughout the course to get a specific time and yet to have at least 13 members on based on the cumulative time and combined what the average time is to determine the winner of the centipede team and the winner of the centipede team this year was the west valley track clubs a team who had 15 members but only the top 13 members got counted into the scoring as that that group set eight hours 49 minutes and 30 seconds on average between the thir top 13 members was 40 it was 40 44 so congrats to the winners of this year's beta, break, uh, beta breakers for the 12k 15k and the centipede challenge um i'm not gonna get into the to the hill winners because it's a little you, you guys can look up the hill and hill winners for those results so here's how i'm gonna do the race reviews for later in the future videos i'm gonna be grading based on expo experience organization race crew course quality and perks those are the five categories i'll be grading these race reviews on it will be scored out of five points and after i get the subtotal score which is not the biggest deal i would give a final wording score of go out and do it would recommend try indifferent to would not recommend on the wording scale on some of the products reviews it'll be um, go out and go, go and get it try or or not buy for example so and then after I give my wording score I'll give you guys my final thoughts and suggestions if the people are from beta breakers race crew or race directors are um, and people are watching this video I'll I have some suggestions that they can maybe tweak to maybe improve this race next year so without further ado, let's get into the official race review. So the first category in this race review is Expo Experience. Man, this Expo, they organized this one very, very well. When I entered through the entrance, I would see the, the banner of the, the event, simple entrance to welcome the runners of where they're going, and you would go straight down a, this runway and you be the first thing you would see is the the bib pickups, which is the should be the first thing that the runners um, should see. And they done that very well. They would they also one of the first things they also had over there was the transportation passes, where you could buy a muni all day pass um, for whenever you need to do race day, both pre race and post race transportation throughout muni, or um, the shuttle bus passes for when you get from the finish line to another specific location including back to the starting line area of the Embarcadero. So and then, and then after that section then the next area was the shirts. Um, they had a separate women's table and a men's table and they they those guys were phenomenal for um, helping the runners out for getting the numbers and the shirts for whatever they need to get. And once you exit from that area, you get into you get passed through the Alaska Airlines booths where they have sunglasses, and they even had a um, um, a cardboard um, a cardboard picture of the the pink gorilla, which is not which is called Ash Hushberry, which is a known mascot for this race for years. Um, and that that's very fun to see. And then after. And after you get past through the Alaska Airlines and Origin Health sections, then you would get into the gen the general vendor booths, let's call it, of the sp different sponsor groups that are part of this race. So I was able to get like some several samples, like like we're talking about like like vitamins from um, Hero Nutritionals and Oco Candy. Um, so yeah, here's some Oko candy samples that I, that I got. I got a few of them, even spray gum, um, which are some, which gives me some good ideas that I could probably maybe do nutrition product reviews of how I feel of what it tastes because I know that everyone's nutrition is different. So I'll have some of those ideas for future videos to come. 
So back into the focus of the review, and there was other race organizers that were there, like from this from the Monterey Bay Half Marathon, the Giant Race, Golden Gate Half, um, and Garmin was there, and some other product companies were there, like Flip Belt. The the guy that I talked to was very very polite. Um, that I could be interested in do, maybe doing product reviews based on what I see from these expo vendors. And that's another one of those fascinating things as a runner that you get to see different things and different perspectives of what has to be offered to you. Um, so most of these organization, organization stalls and sponsors um, organize this very well and even at the expo they would give you a participant guide which would show you the course map and some other um, transportation and um, instructional details of how to do of how to get ready to run this race and how to handle yourself on race day so the expo people were were phenomenal uh, many polite people from different companies to come out um, I really appreciate um, what everything that was offered and it, it was it's fun to it's fun to explore places like an expo with a bunch of companies offering many things to to these people so so my score for the expo experience is a five out of five a very phenomenal score um, please keep up the the expo experience that was great now we get into the second category organization and this will be considered the, the hardest grading score um, out of all the other um, categories throughout my grading. Um, for the organization part, part of this, that the way they made transportation opportunities were excellent, that anybody could take Caltrain, Muni, the, the transportation opportunities were excellent to organize a way that many, that almost anybody can do this race. And and it's great to um, to have those transportation opportunities offered to um, us runners and other people that would like to be in they either run or party in costumes. And another thing I want to talk about for organization is the start the start line corrals and post race. So for post race, they actually had um, security that they would organize people to different corrals. And I had a slight issue with the corral program. Sorry about that. So the, for the race corrals, like they had the the seated um, people all together, ready to go. They got all those people going away and going out to their run to excel the top performance. Meanwhile, for I was in corral A, and the, and I had this one issue that there was only one small hole. With, with like within a um one gate size or two to that would like try to get around the security guard um i know that security that they try they try to um do their job but um but like when it got by the time it got to the start of the corral a start there was only 40 to 50 people ready to go at the start and people were still flowing through the gates before they can start their race and i could say that by the time the 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 corral went off for corral A. It it took me two to three minutes to get from where I was in the middle middle of the big group of people trying to go for one small hole before I can even start and start my run and and it's fun when you get to start with the people originally so it was a very delaying process to be able to start to start our run and then we get into and then the get to the post race organization part of this is that for they they had so uh, several other um, vendor stands that um, that they would that the security guards like wanted um, didn't want like the center of the street to be like just blocked with lines so they try to make their lines sideways so I kind of don't understand that aspect and there was like very long waits as people wanted to get full boxes of canned coffee and there was a coconut drink and um other other stuff that was there and it was real and then post race was really really packed and so like i didn't have the time all day to s completely stay 
at the Bay Breakers post race festival. So if you want to go to um to the post race vendor stalls, then you better plan to have have a plan where you can have to stay like until like four or five o'clock or something like that. So several more hours to um be able to ex explore around. But unfortunately, I didn't have the time, so it got like less patience for me to wait, and it was too packed for the post race based on the lines and the slow um, processes that were from the start corrals and the finish vendors. Um, the, the people that organized the course and, and the people that were directing the people to do the 12K or the breakers bonus at the split point, those people were great. So, so overall, my score for the organization category for this year's beta breakers, I say, is a 3.5 out of 5. 3.5 out of 5. Um, which is a fair score. It's just slight improvements that they could do to um, make everything flow smoothly. And I'll discuss that at the end of the video. So now we get into the third category of this race review, and that's race crew, which is um, the, the way the volunteers, the race director, and the commentators um, were supporting the race. And... The water aid stations and the first aid people were excellent for um, ha having the cup ready to go. They would have even some of them would even have a backup cup ready to get, um, give to the runners, and that was an excellent flowing process to be able to give runners water when they needed it. And the people that and the the police and the security that were on the streets to um, have the road closures, they did an excellent job of being able to get the the other traffic out of the way so we we could be able to have an open course to enjoy this experience and I thank those people for doing so and again like I said before for the part of the organization part the the people that are were at the split point for the 12k or the people that are running the 15k bonus those people were phenomenal for splitting those people up and and it's amazing that um, to be able to have great people and great volunteers to work at this event. So I give kudos to Beta Breakers for having great volunteers for this year. And the race director was um, and the other commentators, they're um, entertaining for pre-race and post-race. And it was it was nice um, to see um, to see them. Get, bringing the entertainment to the runners and the party people and running enthusiasts like myself and it was a great experience overall and there was even cheerleaders on on the co on the course and people cheer people for, cheering from the streets that were living in San Francisco and people that that were cheering out for their um, exclusive runners the the atmosphere was excellent so so anyway, so my final score for the race crew category is a 5 out of 5. Um, very excellent um, amount of volunteers and um, security that they were, they were trying to do their job. So thank you guys for keeping the event flowing smoothly. Alright, now we get into our fourth category of this race review and it's course quality. So there's two parts to this. There's the 12K part of the course, and there's the new inaugural 15K bonus course. And the only difference is, obviously, is three extra kilometers for the 15K bonus. And for most of the course before the split point, it was a fairly challenging course for its traditional course, having some flat, mm, flat, flat sections and gradual uphill and downhill sections. Haynes Hill was a challenge, and and I don't I didn't cut any slack on that hill, and it it could give you give you pain, and it, but it gives you a rewarding big downhill after you after you conquer the hill, and then it's gradual downhill to flat surfaces of the course for the rest of the way after the Haynes Hill, which comes to you just after mile two. And and I have to say that um, that the breakers about the breakers bonus 
that people want to know the question of even people that were asking about is it worth the 20 extra dollars to add to your registration to get a bonus medal and run at three extra kilometers I say absolutely and here's why after you get through the split the split part of the course it takes you to the great highway and you get to feel the great feeling of the ocean sea breeze from the Pacific Ocean and you get to you get to see the ocean and having sand on both sides of the street of the great the great highway and you go straight and you go through miles seven eight and then you get to the turnaround point and then you see mile nine and then you know you have about um about 400 to 500 meters left of your run before you get to this the, the finish line and and I enjoyed doing the breakers bonus. I, I love doing challenges. They're worth distance worthy. So the, it's really worth doing the, the, the bonus course. And so on my grading scale for course quality combining the, the traditional 12k course and the breakers bonus inaugural section of this race is a, still a 5 out of 5. Um, please keep the breakers bonus going and it was a great idea to make it worth the while to run right next to the ocean to finish your last section of the run so very well done um, race directors of beta breakers great idea alright now we get into the final grading category for this race review and it is perks the, um, I'm going to be and showing you guys um, so here's what the race bib looks like so as you can see here that you can see um, there's the party people on there that shows like the tr tradition of this race um, this is the breakers bonus um, version of the bib but I know that for the the normal 12k race bib the numbers would be black and there would only be one tag where you just rip it off for um, the race crew um, does at packet pickup for you to pick up your t-shirt that's why the um this tag was removed is for the people that got a t-shirt at the expo and for the people that would be doing the breakers bonus that you would obviously get your bonus mail which I'll show you in a second and you would get, if you're over 21 you would get a a beer and I didn't get my race so since I'm under 21 so the people that would do the breakers bonus under 21 years old, you don't need to get a beer. They even put a one free soda for your race bib, and that's very cool to add to this year's challenge. So, so there's two parts to this. There's the traditional medals and some post-race stuff that was from Sutter Health, which I'll show you in a second. So here is the original finisher's medal for beta breakers. And and this is its finisher's ribbon, as you can see right here. So you can see finisher 2018, sponsored by Alaska Airlines. And you see um, party people um, and other mascots that are that will be running. And I love this design of this medal. So this is a great addition to my collection for um, for a traditional race like this. And now here is the inaugural Breakers bonus medal right here. As you can see here that um, it says founding member uh, established 2018. I loved how they um, did that. And it's a spinner medal. So you got Ash Hushberry, the pink gorilla, and with a plus sign and Breakers bonus. And then when you, um, when you split, spin it to the other side, it's it says it's presented by Sutter Health, so the Breakers bonus was sponsored by Sutter Health. Um, thank you guys um, for sponsoring the Breakers bonus challenge. It, it was a great addition to Beta Breakers this year. As here's you can see um, on this ribbon right here that it says Alaska Airlines Beta Breakers and Break Breakers bonus founding member and. That is very, very cool design that you guys came up with. And and that is not it from the Sutter Health people. So in post-race, they would um they had a vendor stand in the post-race 
that they would have iPads and and they would have um these these sets uh, this like one set each person of earbuds and all you, and in order to get in order to get these free socks from Sutter Health you have to watch a 30 second video which your with your iPad that you get to point your um, iPad that you have and point to a picture and it'll play a 30 second video of and they had many stories and it was very fascinating to look at all those stories of what they had to offer for what they're promoting for um, their company to to help improve others health and making people go into to fitness and and it's very inspiring um, to see it so and so like they would let you keep these pair of earbuds and you can see here sponsored by Sutter Health and and once they give you the earbuds it they would give you socks that come like it would originally come in this package from Sutter Health and and I want to show you this guys this design and it's very cool that they have the Sutter Plus um, logo designs th throughout and they would have like kind of like a 3D art thing of like the shapes the shapes and the the perspective um, lines that are added to the socks and it is very fascinating to have these um, socks in my collection um, for from a running event so thank you Sutter Health for adding yourselves to the Breakers Bonus Challenge and interacting with the runners and finishers um, for this year's Beta Breakers Thank you very much. So without further ado, I want to give you guys my score for per the perks category. And obviously it's a 5 out of 5. Um, the medals, the bib design, um, what Summer Health had to offer, especially with their breakers bonus and post-race um, festivities of handing out some cool, um, cool swag and gear. And it was very awesome to get all this stuff so thanks again starter health so now we get to um the overall wording scoring and in my, on my scale for the wording scale i would would recommend this event for if you want to do this on your own but it's safer and more fun and you can go out and do it with your friends it is so much fun to to have like uh, running partners with you, people in costumes to to celebrate the tradition of this event. Um, personally, I went I went with a friend, as you saw um, from the race vlog footage. That it, again, that it's very very fun if you go with people and you feel safer as you um, as you would be traveling through San Francisco because again, it's one of those unpredictable cities that you don't know what could happen. So when you have people with you, you feel safe. You would feel safer. Excuse me. So you, it's a go out and do it with with friends. But I would still really recommend this. And based on and again based on the transportation opportunities of what Caltrain has to offer, um, the the Bart. Um, I'm I'm not sure if Bart was open um, in the, those morning hours, but they had like some sh sort of shuttle buses. Um, but I definitely knew Caltrain was in service and Muni buses and um, transfer in service so you could take a bus to to take a Muni light rail to the Embarcadero. Um, the, based on those transportation opportunities, I can say this on the back of my mind that anybody can do beta breakers. And there's no question that if, you, if it's on your bucket list, then you could go out and do it. Um, if, again, if you want to make this a, m a more fun experience, get some friends and try to and try to join join you in the race. Um, that's what I really recommend, um, based on my wording scale and and some of my thoughts. We come into some of our final thoughts for the race review. Again, um, they they should look at into um, the the people at Bay Burger should look at um, into the organization of the race corrals and try to find some more flowing. Um, process to try to get more people to the to start line, so it's not too delayed. Even though every crowd would go every about five minutes, 
but but still that there was still more people trying to squeeze through when there was um, a small group at the starting line and and then again for post race maybe try to um, st stagger different um, types of vendor stalls so it doesn't cause so much cram lines where it's sideways and people are, are trying to like budge trying to, trying to get through in and out um, that's something to um, to look at for next year so uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing some of my race footage and proof that I have from my race and and I hope you guys um, um, enjoyed this race review um, be sure to and if you like this video go ahead and give it a like um, if you if you like to see more videos like this of race reviews product reviews and um, nutrition stuff like I said of samples that I could provide to you guys um, be sure to subscribe um, I'll be able to um, have more videos coming up soon um, was there something else I almost forgot to mention about the the participant t-shirt design this year this is the front and uh, And here's the back side and and thank you to these sponsors for making this event possible for this year's beta breakers. And this is the participant shirt for this year. Oh yeah, so um be sure to let me know in the comments below. Um for the people that went to beta breakers, what did you think about the race? Um did you enjoy your experience? What would your grades be? Um what do you think the improvements need to be made? I'm curious to know what you guys have to say in the comments below. Um, thank you guys for watching on the Chance to Runner YouTube channel. Again, you can find me on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Chance the Runner. And you can find me on my Instagram page, Chance underscore the underscore runner underscore YT. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, and uh, keep running and keep training for whatever race you got next. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.